cousins Colt and eyeshadow might be my new bag I know he's bad for me he just wants my like he's attached to me so what's standing in our way yeah he's got such power over me but I try to act cool about it Hello cousins, it's Kimmy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have got this sexy cool tone makeup look. Honestly, to this eyeshadow look, it's fire if I do say so myself. Like cousins, cool tone eyeshadow might be my new bag. I feel like this is like an unusual sexy makeup look. I feel like my eyes is doing all the talking that it needs to do. Honestly, it's like grungy, but sexy, kind of date night type of vibe, or like a night out look. So if you guys are interested in how I got this gorgeous look right here, then please keep on watching. All right, cousins, so we're starting straight from the top. I have gone already and done my skin prep, so now I'm gonna do brows. I haven't really changed my brow routine, but I've just changed the products that I am using. So starting off, I am gonna use my Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. I just like to use to like glue down my eyebrows. I don't apply a lot, but I just apply enough to like glue down my brows with. Like I don't really have like, curly brows anyway so my brows do like stick to my face and I'm just grab my pinky and just press that down like so I'm pretty sure there is a more quicker and easier way to do this but this is the way that works for me and then I just allow that to just dry down so instead of me like going in with this soap method I just find that this is more of a quicker effective way for me I wear about 30 to a minute for this to dry down and after that my brows are pretty much glued to my face next i go in with my nyx micro brow pencil this is in the shade espresso because i have been loving this brow pencil it is legit a dupe for the benefit precisely my brows if you like that brow pencil you will definitely like this because it's practically the same thing obviously this is cheaper than the benefit one so you kind of save a tiny bit of money as well which is always a plus. I'm just gonna use it to like fill in my brows. I know people are not into that, that wispy, you know, laminated brow effect. I don't think that suits me. So I just fill in my brows the way I've been doing all these years. I don't know, I just feel like that brow trend wouldn't look good on me. So I just never tried it out. Maybe I should give it a try. I feel like I would look scary with it on. And any sparse areas, I just go in and just fill in. Obviously, you wanna brush the hairs as well. And the one thing I actually like about this brow wax from Too Faced is the fact that it's not like super drying. The only problem I do have with it is that it does flake a little bit, but other than that, I find it's way more easy to use, especially if like I wanna brush my brows in another direction, I can do that. It does have a decent hold, but you can still be a little bit flexible with your brow hairs as well and next i just grab a concealer shade that is two to three shades lighter than me i am using my she glam concealer in the shade hazelnut i'm legit on my last legs of this i used to use the makeup revolution concealer and Define concealer but i ran out of that and i started using this and i've been liking it and now i'm running low on this as well as you can see i'm scraping the bottle <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. And then I go in with the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade 16.5. And this is what they both look like at the back of my hand. I'm having a flat oval shaped brush. I'm gonna grab the concealer first. So I like to use the concealer on the arch of my brows. And I grab my foundation on the same brush. And I use it to curve out the rest of my brows. And then I just wipe off those products off this brush. And now we have a clean canvas and just go back in with the foundation shade. And I just use that to curve out the top part of my brows. And a lot of people don't like curving out the top part of their brows, but it's something that I am so used to doing. If I don't do it, I feel like there's something wrong with my makeup. And plus, because I naturally don't have brows, I like my brows to like stand out. It's like a good feature on my face. And before I go in and blend out my concealer, I like to go in with my Benefit Brow Zing Pro Palette. And I grab this dark brown shade right here on a angled brush. And I just fill in any sparse areas that my 
eyebrow pencils didn't get. Now I'm going to blend the brush and just blend out the concealer. I was blending out the foundation first and then going and blend out the concealer and the foundation after. So that way I'm mixing the concealer shade on the top part of my brows. And that is pretty much all I do for my brows. For today's makeup look, I'm thinking to do skin first and then eyes, and then we're gonna wrap it up with lips. So starting off, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I have been loving, loving this product so far. It's been making my makeup look really nice. The girls that love this, I understand why they love this because it honestly just makes your makeup look so flawless. I'm just blending this out with a stippling brush just because I like the way the bristles on the brush feels against my skin. This feels really nice. That is legit the only reason why I'm using a brush. Obviously you can go in and use your fingers and like massage it into your skin. But I just like the therapeutic side of how the bristles are, are like feeling on my skin. For setting spray, I'm gonna use the Rose Instant Hydration Mist by Fresh. I have been loving the combination of the face base and this setting spray together. That is initially how I started using the product and I've been loving the way it makes my makeup look. So I'm gonna keep using this combination. Oh. Oh. So freaking lightweight. This smells really clean. Like, I don't know how other way to describe it. Like, it just smells like earthy greens. If you have normal to dry skin, use this combination. Your makeup will look flawless. Y'all better go get it, okay? I do not recommend anything but the best for you guys. I'm going to allow this to sit for a minute because I want my skin to like absorb all the moisture and actually give the products time for it to like penetrate to my skin. So I'm getting the best usage out of them. Now that I've allowed the products to like settle into my skin, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer. This is in a shade Deep Dark. I like to use this to color correct my under eye. As you guys can see, your girl's got bags, so I need to cover that up. I prefer using a concealer rather than a color corrector because one, I feel like concealers give a little bit more coverage, and two, I don't feel like they make your under eye look crazy. Obviously, I get like the color will and the color theory, all of that jazz, but I just don't feel like applying red underneath my eyes because I feel like it ends up mixing in with my concealer and then I have like a reddish under eye, which is what I don't want. Like cousins, look at the difference. Look at the way the concealer just covered up my dark circles. I don't think you can beat a good coverage concealer. I then use this concealer to cover up every single blemish on my skin because I feel like my foundation has a decent amount of coverage to cover up like these tiny blemishes on my face. Speaking of foundation, the foundation I'll be using in today's video is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I am in the shade D3 Iguazu. This is honestly one of my favorite foundation. It photographs well, it has a good longevity on it. It looks amazing on the skin and it's also lightweight. Honestly, I believe that this is one of NARS's top products. Right, cousins, look at the glow on my skin. I'm just going with another layer because I'm going out today and I'm going to be out for a pretty long time and my pictures are going to be getting taken throughout the day. So I want to make sure that I am concealed and covered in all angles, okay? Yeah, we need to make sure we are covered, even though that one layer was good enough like so and then i'm gonna get on the end of my beauty blender and just pounce that all over my face so that way it's taking off any excess foundation that i don't need and everything's gonna blend out even more flawless next we're gonna bronze up the skin and to do that i'm gonna be using my charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kids glow bronzer and to deepen up i'm gonna use my be perfect cronzer cream bronzer this is in the shade fig we're gonna use fig first on a flat kabuki brush and we're just gonna use that to define our cheekbones oh this is a really really dark shade don't be scared it's gonna blend out beautifully afterwards I'm doing this a little bit higher than where my cheekbone is. Normally I don't start with the darker shade. 
but I don't know what's going into me today. I'm starting off with the darker shade. I'm gonna place that there for now. Yes, it looks a bit muddy, but it's fine. We're gonna blend it out. Now we go in with the Charlotte Tilbury using the same brush and just gonna tap that right on top. See how that just blends that out? Because I don't have like defined cheekbones, so I have to like fake my cheekbones. That is why I go in a little bit heavier than most people. To conceal, I'm going to use my ABH Magic Touch Concealer in the shade 20. I'm going to apply this on my under eye first. Just to act as a base for my lighter shade. This concealer is really good. I just got the wrong shade. And I'm still going to go back to Sephora and pick up the correct shade. And then to brighten up my under eye, I'm going to get in with my e.l.f. Camera Concealer. This is in the shade Deep Chestnut. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to get in my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Raider Concealer. This is in the shade 15 Deep. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of that under outer corners. And then we go in and just start blending out. the rest on my forehead for cream blush i'm going to use my elf putty blush in the shade maldives and apply this on my cheeks and then before we go in and start setting i'm going to go back with my foundation brush and just use this to blend everything out and make sure there's no harsh lines like so and now we can start setting to start to do that i'm going to use my elf sheer tint finishing powder in the shade medium dark and i'm just going to use that to lightly set my highlighted areas And now to bake, I'm going to use my Kem Beauty Soft Set Setting Powder. This is in the shade Goody. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of this on my powder puff. And just use that to set in my makeup in place. Cousins, I swear to you, if you're doing your makeup and you do not have a powder puff, what are you doing? You need to get yourself a powder puff, okay? This will set your makeup so, so good. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Filter 11. Grab that on a powder brush and just set our entire face with this. Cause we're gonna move on to eyes now and then we're gonna come back and finish off the skin. So I'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush again and just blend out the creases on my lid. We're gonna go back in with the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder and we're gonna set our eyelid using this powder. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using today is by Primark, it is their Smodo palette. You guys saw me try this out a couple of days ago and you guys saw how much I love this palette. It is a very cool tone palette. Last time we played around with the shimmer shade and one of the matte shades. Today we're gonna play around with the matte shades in this palette. And just to help it with a transition color, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution X Plastic boy I should have palette I just want to use this brown shade right here called baddie as my transition color so starting off we're gonna grab baddie and a fluffy brush and just work that right above our crease I'm going with this shade because it's like a neutral matte shade actually I'm also gonna grab slay in this palette I'm just gonna place that right into my crease and blend it into my transition shade. Now I'm gonna go into my Primark palette and I'm gonna grab this dark brown shade in this palette. I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners into our crease. Cousins, look at that pigmentation. You would not believe that this is a Primark eyeshadow. For my lid shade, I'm gonna go in with this grayish cool tone shade. I'm gonna tap that on my lid. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that is really, really pretty. I like this shade. And then I'm gonna go with the black in the palette. And we're just gonna stamp this on our lash line. Oh, look how dark that is. I 
for some reason the black is like going well on like my outer corners but it's not going well on my inner corners don't know if you guys can see that but not a major issue but just something i wanted to point out for you guys going back in with slay and just blending out that harsh line right there going back in with baddy our transition color and just blending that out now i'm just gonna go in and just dust off the excess powder off my face and i said this spot right here is legit ruining this makeup look like oh, so annoying and we're gonna grab slay on our lower lash line and a tiny bit of the dark brown shade in the primer palette and just use that to smudge my lower lashes. Gonna apply this L'Oreal eyeliner in our waterline. Before I apply my mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation in the shade 495 and we're gonna use that to set my bronzer. I'm gonna go back in with the Rose Insta Hydrating Mist one more time. And my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray as well. For blush today, I'm gonna to use my GFS Plays Volume 1 Blush. And I'm gonna grab the orange shade in here, apply that onto my cheeks. And then Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara to prep our eyelashes. Oh, lashes are on and Cousins. Cool Tone Eyeshadow might be my new bag. Cousins, this eye look is given all types of sexy and I'm here for it, like, oh my goodness. So now let's finish off this look with some lipstick. I'm gonna start off by using my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Pitch. It's a really nice creamy brown lip liner. Cousins, if you can get your hands on ColourPop lip liners, get it, cause they are so creamy. And then I'm gonna deepen up with my Primark Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brown. And for the center of my lips, I'm gonna go with my Revolution X Plastic Boy Lipstick in the shade Hazel Macchiato. Just gonna put this in the center of my lips. And then my She Glam Wretched Romance Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mummy's Dearest, right in the center of my lips. And cousins, this is pretty much today's makeup look. And this is pretty much the end of today's video, cousins. What do you guys think about this cool tone eyeshadow look? Is it something that you would give a try? Let me know down below. Thank you cousins so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Mwah.